having a lot of fun. This is super easy like it's supposed to be. So I'm sure it'll stay like this like the whole time. Hello everybody, my name is Ali and I'm in Windsor, Ontario. And this video is about an ultra running event called FAR. In the following videos, we're gonna find out why people like it and why people do it. Have fun. Good morning, everybody. I'm Wrong Way Rich. I'm with We Ultra, and I wanna take a few minutes to tell you why I love the FAR. And because the FAR starts at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning for me, if I tell you enough about why I love the FAR, I might convince myself that it's true and have a really good run tomorrow morning. So here we go. I started running about four and a half years ago. I uh, started it out as a weight loss journey. As you can see from this uh, rather paltry metal rack, I haven't run a ton of races in four and a half years and most of them have been of the uh, half marathon, 5K, 10K, I got a couple of marathons in there. But I haven't run a lot of long races. I wouldn't call myself an ultra runner by any stretch of the imagination. I have. Uh, a 50k and a 40 miler to my name but nothing crazy like an official 50 miler or a 100 miler or anything like that but i do love the far i'll tell you why quite a few reasons in a minute but one of them is look at the excellent bling you get that is one of the proudest pieces of race bling that i have um, although i wouldn't call the far a race i called it a journey run but uh, you know, if you complete the FAR, you too can get a nice badge or patch that will fit on a coat that won't fit you in five years. But I think about all the money I've spent on races over the year and the best journey run, the best time you could ever have running is really local in your own backyard, your own community. The FAR is a 103 mile circumnavigation of our beautiful peninsula of SS County. Uh, we have a lot of beautiful sights to see in, in our community and uh, a lot of great people in our running community. So it's actually, a, it's just a great event. Uh, it's very unique. Uh, it doesn't uh, really um, take a lot of uh, travel or planning to uh, participate. And, uh, you know, I just love to uh, get out and see my county at uh, four miles an hour, five miles an hour, and uh, just see it in a different way than you would if you were just driving around on the highways. Although the event is free, there are lots of amenities. The, you know, we have a race director who really, really cares about our well-being. So you can see we have a very well-marked course. Uh, there are amenities along the way. Uh, you might have to call ahead for curbside pickup if that's your problem, not the race director's. Uh, there's um, aid stations along the way. You might have to climb a giant hill once in a while to get to them, but they're there. Uh, super hot days, you know, the far is in June. You never know what you're gonna get. Uh, but uh, the race director is nice enough to put fans along the course or sometimes even provide a bit of a water park for you to uh, traverse on your journey. And the entertainment, you know, we don't have, uh, you know, like some of the big city marathons, we don't have roadside bands playing or, or cheer squads, but uh, you provide the entertainment. You're the clown that decided to do this and you'll be providing lots of entertainment for people who will be following your journey. But lastly and most importantly, the FAR is about community about an encouraging group of runners with like-minded goals. Uh, you know, there's just, you can just feel the love when you're part of this community and you join the FAR, the encouragement you'll get from others, um, and even uh, your failures being memorialized on the FAR map for all of eternity. So, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of great encouragement, a lot of love from the ultra running community uh, that, that participates in the FAR, and I think that uh, you will enjoy it if you ever uh, take the plunge. So that is all the reasons that I love the FAR. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and uh, wish me well tomorrow. What up, homies? Cody here. Candace. We're just driving down from London to Windsor to partake in some running festivities with the We Ultra group. So the reason why I decided to do FAR is for the challenge. And the reason why I picked it is because of the We Ultra group. I haven't met a group of people that I've actually liked so much. Um, and what I plan to accomplish is to get it done in one chunk this time um, while having fun with our group. Yay! So, uh, last year, running far on the first chunk out, had the opportunity to run with... Um, one of our fellow runners who had some wise words to say 
um, and explained to me what FAR was all about. Um, saying that FAR is about sharing stories and creating memories. Uh, that stuck with me and I agree wholeheartedly 100%. Um, so thank you for those wise words. Um, Casey, some of you guys call him the mean RD. Call him what you want, he's all good by me. Um, so far, running far this year. Uh, we're really excited to come down, run far. Um, create some more memories, share some more stories um, with the people that we love, admire, um, and that inspire us to get out and run. Um, so looking forward to it. Last year, did in uh, two chunks and then added some chunks here and there. This year, we're going for one chunk. So we're looking to bust that out in uh, one shot. Hopefully around 39 hours or so. 39 hours and 59 minutes sounds about good to me. So uh, we'll see you guys up there. Have fun. Hi, I'm Derek Mulhall. It's the morning of my third fire. Just getting ready to head out. And looking forward to an exceptional day today. It's supposed to be sunny. Spend some time with some friend and some family. I'm bringing mom along for her first wee ultra journey. Looking forward to the day and we'll see you on the course. Hi, I'm Brandy. I will be running far this coming Saturday. My goal this weekend is to complete the course in one go. We'll see how that happens. Uh, many things can come up and we'll see. But that's the plan so far. Uh, FAR to me is about community, friendship, um, testing limits, testing your friends' limits, having your friends test your limits. Um, I'm running with a nice little group this weekend. I look forward to supporting them. I look forward to their support for me. Um, Hopefully we will encourage each other to just keep pushing forward. Um, and that's what FAR is to me, pushing forward, not just during the day, but the days following, the months, the year. That's what running is for me. Um, just pushing forward, hanging in there, no matter what, because it's going to get tough, as things in life do. Um, that's about it. I'll see you guys out there. Bye. And I think I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be for this journey. I know I have to plan, conserve more energy, fuel up better. Got scheduled with Cody again along with Brandy and Candace, whom we've discussed the one chunk strategy together. And uh, I think we're pretty determined to make this happen. It's not going to be a me. It is definitely going to be a we. Because we are going to help each other get through this as this one chunk we don't really have a time set for this year no goal for that but again 40 hours we can do it the sooner the better but i think we're gonna do it and it's all because of the we not me not him not her it's the we hello i'm shailene lev and I'm going to be doing FAR for the second time. I'm starting the week after the official start date, just because this is what worked out for me. Um, what does FAR mean to me? I don't know. I just like to run FAR. <laughs> and it's nice being part of something big with uh, like-minded people who like doing the same crazy things that I like doing. I like pushing myself and seeing my limit and where I can go. My goal for this year's FAR is just to take it as far as I can, whatever that may be, with, of course, it'd be awesome to finish it in one shot, but two chunks I'll be happy with, because I don't know, man, 77, middle of the night, sounds crazy to me, but I bought some lights to attach to my backpack, got my headlamp, so I'm ready for it, and I can't wait, and I can't wait to follow all you guys as well. So I started running 10 years ago, and last year my weight had actually hit an all-time high of 200 pounds. Uh, that really freaked me out because I wanted to be there and healthy for my three boys. Um, so I signed up for my first 100 mile run uh, to try to lose the weight. And I started seeing a nutritionist, and I started doing a training plan called the We Ultra Training Plan. Um, 
trained for about seven or eight months and finished that training plan and ended up losing 30 pounds and finishing the run. Uh, later, uh, within a month, I found out about another run called the FAR, um, and it was also from We Ultra. so I really wanted to look into what this We Ultra was, and it was a local training group of really awesome people. Um, and I also had heard that the FAR was never done by anyone within one chunk, uh, as of yet. There's, everyone in that We Ultra group is very capable of doing it, but no one had done it yet. Um, so I took that as an opportunity, and I ran the FAR, being the first uh, finisher to do it in one chunk last year. And I plan on doing it again tomorrow, and I can't wait. Uh, the reason I run is just because I love the way that it makes me feel. I love that it makes my uh, three boys proud. Um, I love that it keeps me healthy. Wow, that was interesting. These runners have very strong motives to run in 103 miles or 161 kilometers. We're in Canada. But it still sounds crazy, but amazing at the same time. Casey, can you tell us more about FAR? Hi, I'm Casey, and I'm going to run the FAR. The FAR is a grassroots event that was started about three years ago. It stands for the first annual We Ultra Run, but every year it's the first annual. I love the FAR. The reasons I love the FAR? Well, it's ours. There's a place for everyone at the FAR. All levels, all abilities, all experiences. They're all welcome here. I love the FAR because it showcases our county, it showcases our communities, it showcases our people. I love the FAR because people help each other. It provides a great challenge for people. They need to be self-reliant. I love everything about it. I love the FAR because it's not a race. The FAR is different for everyone. It's what they make of it. It's a run, it's a journey, it's an adventure, it's a challenge. The FAR is whatever you make it. There's lots of ways to do the FAR. That's what I love about it. It has a lot of little nuances to the FAR. It's kind of like a secret club with a secret handshake. I love everything about that. It's a personal journey. It's a self-examination of oneself. And I really love that. And it's a great example of everyday people doing exceptional things. And I love that. I look forward to running the far. Wow. Those were really, really nice words from the mean art. I mean, the RD. I mean, I, I don't know why people call him the mean RD because he's such a sweet guy <laughs> about the run. Okay, so it is a 103 mile run with a time cap of 40 hours. Let's say I'm a very, very good runner and I make it there first place. Why do I win? Absolutely. Um, I think. There were, you will see a few people, I think, do it in 20 to 20 minutes. Like I said, the record is 22. Okay, so what's the ultimate record over the past eight years? We've only done this only our third year, so the, the, the fastest speed is 22.56-ish. From what I remember, it was Brian Bondi last year. There were some different rules, we've been tightening things up, so as the years go on, the, the race matures a little bit more, and not the race, the run. It's the other thing too, we don't want to promote that this is about speed. We don't want to promote that this is about winning first place. You don't get anything if you win first. So we'll acknowledge that you had a fast time, but that's about it. I don't care if you're finishing 20 hours or you finish it in 39, 59, 39. You're the same type of finisher. You finished it, right? Yep. And the same thing too, what we do is anyone doesn't do it in one go around, then you can do what we call multiple chunks. So you can piece it together and we give you 30 days to do that. And you say, oh, well, that's easy. It sounds pretty easy to do 30 days. Well, if you think about it, it's still a marathon a weekend. So if you want to finish it, you'd have to run a marathon a weekend for four straight weekends. That would get you done. So, and the logistics of it's tough because someone's got to go drop you off. Someone's got to go pick you up. So you got to have enough friends to do that. So <laughs> we always say the easy way to do this is to do it in one shot. So yay, the day is finally here. This is race day. Um, it's exciting because runners are mentally prepared, physically prepared to go far. Let's watch them.
products. All right, we have three minutes. <laughs> we timed this well. Three minutes. Go slow. Oh, we're really? Start. Yeah. Go slow. And it's going to be hot. Right. Right. Oh, fine shade. Nice feet action. 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 I don't know if you the guy's name. He ran a 5K and it was like 12 minutes and like 32 seconds. What? Yeah. How even? Yeah. I'm like, How even? Yeah. Like, How even? Yeah. <laughs> I got that on video. Brandy was going the wrong way. See the group I put you with, you Ray? <laughs> he will enjoy it. He'll be definite banter. Okay, so I thought I heard you run. Am I late? Anyway. <laughs> you made it. Right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good luck. Okay, good. Oh, it's culture runners. Let's check on them on the first 25 miles. I think they're still feeling great. I'm at about 31k. Just about to pass by the bridge. Still on uh, the second leg. And uh, have a nice uh, ice pack from uh, Sam's little uh, aid station that I grabbed. Uh, feeling good. <laughs> All right, is this recording? Yeah, this is recording. Okay, time for the first video of the day. It's uh, what are we at here? Uh, what are we at here? 15, 15, 15 miles. Where's Candace? Right back yeah, there. Yeah, All right. Yeah. We're uh, so about 15 <laughs> miles almost. In the back. Um, everybody. Having a lot of fun. This is super easy, like it's supposed to be. <laughs> so I'm sure it'll stay like this, like the whole time. Oh yeah, you know. So. Yeah, we're enjoying it. Check in another 18 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we'll have some more check-ins. <laughs> so having fun. So yeah, we just—I hit 38 kilometers. I'm now at my personal best by three kilometers. Uh, I mean, chasing and walking with Casey, Shane, Randy, Mike, Karen. People are honking at us. Still going. We got another 22 kilometers to ducks on the roof. Hopefully, I make it. At the minimum, I got 10 kilometers till I might turn off to my house. So I kind of got to make it there. My kids are proud of me. That makes me feel awesome. And uh, yeah. 
10 miles in, just walking a little bit. More runners at the back. Fun stuff. Already drank like four bottles of water. It's a hot day. It's gonna be good. Go runners, go runners, go runners. Yay. Okay, 25 to 50 months. How are they doing? So I'm at uh, 73 kilometers. Uh, I'm on leg number four, I think. Uh, not feeling as fresh, <laughs> um, but I'm doing pretty good. I'm um, passing by uh, Sprucewood Shores Winery. That's where I actually got married. And, uh, I think I'm doing good. What mile are we at? Just I don't know. 42 and a quarter. What are we at? 40 something, 3 ish something. This is a lot of fun. Like, a lot. I'm having fun? Fuck this shit moment. <laughs> I feel good. I'm good. I hate her. I hate her right now. Oh. This is, whoa, hey, whoa, where are some others? Oh. Karen's. Karen got Karen's, her fourth life. Karen's Motrin kicked in. <laughs> uh, it's time. Laura just helped us down there, another road angel. So we're having some uh, Coca-Cola uh, yep. energy saver mm -hmm. here. So yeah, this is great. Go, go juice. So, big giant kudos to everybody last night and today that's finishing, finished, will finish. Y'all rock. Thanks for all the support you guys have given me, uh, directly and indirectly. Ran with a great crew yesterday. Gave me some good advice for when after I bailed, what to do and what not to do. That was much appreciated. And, uh, yeah, so I'm somewhere around, well, overall, 67 kilometers into this journey. So, we'll see if, I, if we can make, okay, Rooster, we, we'll see if we can't make uh, Colchester and try and go a little bit further than that. Rock on. Oof, they're looking a little bit tired, yeah. Uh, maybe if they hydrate more, um, I don't know, they rest a little bit more, they can go farther, I don't know, they can keep going. Okay, um, let's see how they're doing from 50 to 75 miles. I'm getting close to finishing uh, Slow Gym at 97 kilometers. Um, and then I have uh, This Is Fun and then Soul Crusher. But my soul's already crushed though. So, so joke's on Soul Crusher. Hey, oh! On the open road, Saturday morning in Kingsville. Look at the gift that keeps on giving. Look at that lip. <laughs> Same thing happened last year from far. Now it's year two and it happened again. I'll never learn. Okay, later. Hmm, 100K in. Just stopped at the McDonald's in Kingsville. We're just uh, sitting in lawn chairs in the parking lot like, you know, normal people do. Um, we've been feeling pretty good lately. I don't know, like the last like two, two and a half hours, just maybe three hours, has just been killing it since the sun went down. And uh, yeah, everyone's uh, doing okay now. So we're getting a little bit of food. Patrick's going through the drive-thru for us. And then we're gonna cruise on into Leamington. And then uh, we got about a, I don't know, 50K from there in to the finish. So we're happy again. We're getting this done for sure. Cool, cool. I think they just got their second wind. That's, that's good. Um, okay, so let's check on them from 75 miles to close to the finish line. I hope they're still okay. Well, all right, chunk three. Uh, we are coming into Comber. I have no idea for the miles. We're coming into Comber. Started in Colchester this morning with my new friend, Sam. We're 34 miles in. Oh, 34 miles in. 
Excellent day. And he's only 60 for the end. Oh, son of a bitch. Pardon my French. Um, I'm feeling a lot better this time, this weekend. Um, Sam's taught me things. On skate, on running, on not hurting myself. Thank you, Sam. Uh, the community is awesome. From what I hear, everybody's egging me on, on uh, the, the messenger. Um, we saw Ali this morning. Hi, Ali, thank you very much. Uh, Cody and Candace stopped off on their way home. They found us. And uh, then my wife and kids showed up wearing <laughs> Team Mazaran t-shirts that they made just for that. So my pit crew, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually feeling good. I thought I'd be like, screw this and uh, stop at Staples. But uh, we're almost for a county block from Calmer. We're gonna stop at A&W and decisions will be made. And uh, obviously drawing a blank right now because I've only had, what, eight, nine hours to think of what to say. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the journey is pretty cool so far. I'm at 127K on Soul Crusher, about halfway through, which means it's the exciting part of Soul Crusher where you get to turn for like two seconds. It's the only turn, otherwise it's all this crappy crushed stone. Soul Crusher is pretty much the worst leg. Yeah, it sucks. So I am now alone, Casey and Brandy had taken off up to meet up with Rich. Karen and Cody had gotten done, and so Cody was trekking on by himself, and I am heading up Erie Street on the lower part of Soul Crusher to try and finish this stupid thing that I love so much. And I am uh, trying to allow Cody to catch up to me so that we can try and finish this thing together. So, I'm doing more walking than anything right now. My body is uh, not liking this. Not a lot. My feet are good. Knees are a little sore. Hips feel good. But my core is going into spasms. So, fun stuff. Alright. It doesn't look like fun anymore. Eey. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to say much, but I'm going to show something. Maybe you should quit. Hey, here we are. Justin's coming up to Rochester Place. We got a hair over six miles to go. Moving really well. It's 12.15. We're just going to keep rocking this into the end here. Good job, buddy. Awesome. So here I am. It's in the morning. With my pacer, Aaron. Say hi, Aaron. <laughs> 20 more miles to go. Ollie. No. And, and I'm the real slacker. <laughs> no, he's scaring. I don't know. A lot of water on his back. Oh, this is how it looks. It's dark. Oh, you're kind of big. Yeah, we're at. What are we at? Mile. 800 and something. Something like that. It's the morning time. Yeah, it's the morning. Look at my hair. Um, it's 80, we're like 86 or 7 miles. Anyway, we just had a little, well, I had a little episode <laughs> back there. These guys are fine. 
I couldn't stay awake. And I was just like a zombie back there and then crashed on some old lady's lawn. I think they got a picture of it. Anyway, three minute power nap. I am good as new. So yeah, it's a beautiful morning. We got a, I don't know, sunshine thing happening. And yeah, we're gonna get this done. It's gonna be Brandy's first hundred. It's gonna be Rich's first hundred. And it's gonna be my 13th. Woohoo! Thank God that's over. What do you gotta say, buddy? Fuck you guys. <laughs> Goodbye, Soul Crusher. <laughs> Fuck off. That's awesome. Great job, man. This is it. Final push to the end. Yeah, that's, uh, that's crazy. Okay, so 103 miles running for well, less than 40 hours, hopefully. Um, it looks tough. Um, running through the night um, can be dangerous. Um, were there any finisher? There's the record breaker. Got it. Yes. Good job, boss. One more, yeah. Awesome. Hey, here we go. The first hundred miler. Brandy and Rich. Good job, guys. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> good job, buddy. Been a long time to do that. Hey, let's good get job. all three of you guys together. Here, it's recording. Okay. I haven't get all three of you guys. Go, you Casey. Go. go, Casey. There you go. Nice job. Way to go, guys. Randy, get in there so I can get a picture of you after three years. Here we go. Okay, get closer. A little co Rich, you gotta go that way. There you go. Awesome. We smell like death. All right, no, you guys don't want to be. I love it. That's not really social distancing, but the stink was gonna kill anything. I didn't worry about it. Oh, man. Okay, nice job. <laughs> Good work! Woohoo! 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 Thanks, guys. Ready? Together! One, two! <laughs> <laughs> Good work! Nice work! Nice work! Thank you for helping. <laughs> no problem. Good work! <laughs> Thank you! Woohoo! Where's Ruby to say hi? It's okay. Alright. Here we go! Ann and Jingming finishing their far one chunk 103.6. Hey, buddy, over here! <laughs> That's it, you made it. You're done. Touch the beaver. Ladies first. Right there, man. Right there. <laughs> All right. Yes, so how do you feel? Easy? Uh, tough, but I'm happy. I <laughs> there you go, you're happy, <laughs> all right. All right, Jingman, get in there, buddy. The most dramatic finish in ultra running history, right there. Good job, buddy, awesome. How do you feel? Awesome. Easy? Easy? Do it again, let's yeah. go. Do the reverse direction. Okay. <laughs> Three more fire runners coming in. Rachel, Ingrid, and Vicky. Finishing up 103.6 miles. <laughs> Ruby, be nice. <laughs> Good job, Ingrid. Way to go, Vicky. Awesome job. Good job. That's it, it's over. 
<laughs> Great job. Here we go, Jay and Kathy finishing up the fire. Ruby going to greet them. Nice job, ladies. Two chunks. Great job. <laughs> there we go. All right, 130 on the nose. Awesome. Well, that was quick. <laughs> yeah. Like nothing. Right? <laughs> Good Actually, job, Sam. Like Great job. Here. <laughs> All right. 413. Oh. Nice. Let's go, buddy. Hey, look at the camera. Say hi. Hi. Look where we at. We're here. We're here to pet the beaver. We made it. All the way pulling, Simon. High five. What? It's a joke. Uh, <laughs> Think that he's picking the beaver. Just the other way. Turn around. friends that was far 2020 uh, I hope you enjoy watching the videos as much as I did uh, congratulations to all far runners for accomplishing their goals 103 miles is no joke I've done it myself and it is it is tough it's it's crazy and I hope we get to do it next year I hope to see new faces and I don't know we'll see what happens thanks for watching bye